Okay, is that microphone working? Okay, great. Um, yeah, it's about time to start. Wake up again, everybody. Um, yeah, um, what I'm talking about today, coming back again to that topic of uh, LibreOffice extensions and uh, the implications they have on, on uh, us developers doing our work or how they sometimes hinder us. Um, so, to see what the issue is with extensions, that's the same bubbly that earlier today uh, was all in praise of extensions, um, how they help us by keeping all this uh, extra stuff out of our way, of the developer's way. Um, but of course, there's also uh, implications to that. and. Uh, in the end, nobody of us <coughs> developers does love extensions um, because, yeah, they. What's the what's the summary? Um, they keep um, getting into our way. We always need to make uh, sure, take care that uh, those um, points where we can, where the extensions can uh, interact with the core that these points uh, keep working. And uh, it's not even always easy to tell what these points exactly are and uh, whether if you do something, you'll actually uh, break them in a way that extensions no longer will work. Um, for example, do you spot the error in the previous um, conversation? Torsten, do you? No. The error in there, the back. Where's where's the the thing that? Uh, that's not an ABI problem with the LED and the light bulbs because the LED bulb is a perfect replacement for the light bulb. So, um, <laughs> from the interface perspective, it is, <laughs> and that's what counts here. <laughs> And if anybody is uh, curious what we developers do all the day, then uh, come join us on our IRC channel and you'll get a quite different picture of what you might have thought uh, LibreOffice developers are, are doing for a day job. Um, so yeah, as that example shows, it's uh, sometimes difficult to, to tell um, is that incompatible, will that prove to be a problem for our extensions or, or, or not. Um, then on the other side of the divide, there's the, the users and the extension authors. Um, and they send uh, bug reports. This is one random example, more or less. Um, something stopped working. The interesting bit about um, this bug report is that it is due to some commit that I did. That's not the interesting part. There's <laughs> more of those. And the interesting part is that I thought long and hard about uh, whether actually doing this change would be compatible or incompatible. And uh, what this boils down to is that in our C++ code, we have different types representing the Uno types. And there is one type for, for Uno character. And that used to be the same type as the one we used for the small uh, unsigned integer types and uh, because C++ wasn't expressive enough in its type system to have different types for these so they were combined into one. Come along C++11 with a new type for larger characters so we finally were able to, to, to split these two into, into two. Um, that makes the code easier. There are some special cases in the code that can go away. There's even some bugs lurking in the code because one type was, was used of the other one in places where it shouldn't be. So, um, and on the, on the interface uh, for, for, X, for C++ extensions, I, I checked carefully that there was no place where this would cause any problems. So there shouldn't be any problem with C++ extensions. But as it turned out, it caused a problem for basic code because there was a bug, kind of bug in the writer core C++ code. There is one case where you can have an, uh, an, 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 a value that is a single character. You usually don't have that 
um, because it doesn't make much sense anyway with Unicode to, to speak about single characters or single UTF-16 uh, values. Uh, but there was one, one case where there's some separator for some sorting and I don't know. Um, and uh, the, right, the bug in Rider was that it, it, it used the, 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 um, the, um, the, the, the integer type instead of the character type. And the, the problem with basic is that it doesn't have a character type either. So it puts in, uh, when, when you want to use that interface from basic, you put in a, an integer value representing the character. And now suddenly Rider started to no longer accept an integer there, but insisted on, on having a character, and, and, and that broke it. And there was no way for basic to, to, to um, fix that in basic and, and uh, put in a character. So I, first I thought, oh my god, I broke everything, because now um, with that change, uh, now uh, there's no longer any interoperability be between the basic code and, and the writer code, but then I check carefully that there's just this one place where, where things go uh, wrong and, and I said, oh, oh I'll just uh, fix that and, and uh, sweep it on the carpet and uh, you never know about that issue. Um, so, again, to summarize, the other side of the divide, the users and the extensions authors, um, they don't like uh, incompatible change, of course, and again, it's sometimes quite hard to tell whether a change is compatible or incompatible. You try to do your best and uh, still you, you get it wrong. So um, coming back to the start of the talk, this is um, where we are having problems with these beloved extensions. <coughs> but we as the core developers, I mean, I for one can't even operate um, the, the impress part to, to create decent slides and far less do I know what, what people out there um, use LibreOffice for to, to create extensions and stuff like that. So extensions for us core developers are always these, these scared beasts out there yet in the wild that you <coughs> rarely do spot uh, and, and, and you, you don't know much about them. Um, so is this caring about extensions, thinking, oh my god, shall I, I'll have to be careful to not break anything there um, because it's uh, something that is legend tells that it is a place where, where extensions plug in. Um, is that all wasted fears because we don't even have any extensions or are all these extensions so ugly that you don't want to care about them anyway? Um, so yeah, I, I wanted to to learn on, on what side of this uh, guinea pig divide we are, whether we are the, the ugly one or <coughs> the more beautiful one. So um, went to the new or newly revamped Andreas not here no he, he did most of the part of the work there to get this uh, to get our extension side uh, into better shape again <coughs> and, and into a decent shape. And uh, yeah, let's look at what we actually have. And if you try to, to uh, list all these extensions that are out there um, on this official kind of, of uh, page, then you get to the number of 308 ones that we have. And that should be an interesting uh, sample to, to, to look at. So what I did, whistled a little downloaded all these or try to download them all through the website. Um, the issue is that uh, you, can all, uh, you can either host them on the website directly or have them uh, on your own and, and linked to that, but sometimes there were no links or at least I was too dumb to, to find those links. Um, so 71 of them, uh, I, I couldn't find any artifacts to, to download maybe. And Andreas, if he would hear, would be here, would know wh where I went wrong. For others, I, I tried hard to, to do find some, even went in two cases to that uh, source forge abomination and uh, found the stuff there. But long story short, um, the rest of them, there was some, uh, yeah, some, some kind of noise around there, some 
some things that weren't packaged up correctly. I, I guess it's, it's quite hard for somebody who wants to uh, produce a dictionary for, for LibreOffice to, to actually do the final steps of creating this uh, OXT file. There are some details in there that are difficult, so some people put up uh, other artifacts there. Um, only a small percentage, so many of our uh, extension authors are, are great in, in having overcome that not small hurdle of, of actually producing such an OXT file. Um, and of those 228 remaining that I downloaded and looked into, into their uh, manifest files, um, the picture is that 81 of them um, don't include any code at all. So they are um, typically they are dictionaries or, or gallery images and what you need to do there is provide the pure data plus some configuration data that tells LibreOffice where the files in this uh, extension are like um, telling LibreOffice that there is a dictionary file uh, contained in that. So there's, there's always some, some, uh, some uh, configuration data in every extension, but many, many, many of them just contain that and, and nothing more, and people are happy with that. Um, then there were also 81 that just contained basic code, besides also containing uh, configuration data, typically all of them typically do. So 81 just contained basic. Um, 28 were Python, some kind of letter up in, in the complexity of, of these languages probably. 22 were Java, uh, there were five that used scripting in, in some way, mostly Python again. And just four of them, just four, were C++, where we have the most fears of, of breaking anything. And, and that included even two different versions of, of the same uh, extension that we even built uh, bundled with, with LibreOffice itself and you build it there, the, 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 we built the code um, so that's an easy one to, to keep track of. And uh, seven of them, I, I don't know what was in there, I, I couldn't find anything so my scripting maybe was broken. Um, so that's quite reassuring for us that um, most of them make very little use of the points that we offer for plugin, and uh, the ones that actually even do, uh, like the basic ones, we have that well under control because the basic code is part of the LibreOffice code or the, the code to execute basic is ours to control. So if we find out that we break something badly there, we could always um, build in scaffolding there um, to, to alleviate these, these problems and, and make them go away again. Um, and ironically, the, 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 the things that we as developers think about most when we, when we think about uh, do we break anything uh, with, with an incompatible change, um, that's the one that in practice matter the least. I don't know if there's beyond those few um, that are actually in the, in the extension um, store, if there's a, a, a larger corpus of, of C++ extensions out. There. Don't need to that much about this way anyway, so these numbers are tied out. And that's kind of what I wanted to tell you today. No, no, not 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 exactly. I think. Sally is open. Is open season on Sunday. It's okay. We can do it now. We maybe. Um, I mean, y you still don't want to. These three to four people out there that are doing the the extensions. Uh, I'm not sure how much we want to alienate them, but um, yeah. Well, I, well, I think well, there are two two parts of that story, um, and the most important part is the 
We don't want that. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> well, and if you do uh, make the other extent, uh, Java extent, on that level, I'm sorry. Make files and stuff to be uh, SDK. Uh, What was it? Sorry, I was the, busy with that. The, the whole setup and stuff of the SDK is... Oh, that's working like a charm. Uh, <laughs> right. You know what to do. <laughs> yeah, that's another... Sure, I mean, I was impressed by the actual by the number of, of uh, actually working uh, extensions there because, as I said, uh, it's, it's hard to do these and all my sympathy to these people out there who, who, who feel the pain doing these. Torsten. And so, I mean, this is quite a small sample, I think, of what is out there in the real world. And a significant selection bias on top. So, I, I mean, so at least I would think looking at the uh, open office extension repository, the world file, and I know there's a number of closed source proprietary. Uh, <laughs> Well, if, if, the, if the conclusion is there's nothing or there's just four, and then you, you draw, uh, um, if you make decisions based on that conclusion, then perhaps the length of data should be uh, more. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's so um, I, I know at least uh, two um, C plus plus um, pieces <coughs> of the software that does use the C plus plus um, binding, and it's. Um, um, and it's very naturally speaking, it's a uh, rather generic uh, open office uh, UNO binding to remote control that and the historical uh, German uh, checking dictionary that we got yeah. discontinued simply because of yeah, but the, the the problem is always, as I said, we, they are, we, we don't know much about them, we don't hear much about them. As long as they work, we don't hear anything. Um, Many of them apparently even don't come to us if, if uh, things start to break, so it's, it's really difficult for us to draw any, anything from that. But there was one more question over here, so I think we are running light, so if you can well, raise. Um, all those, these languages, basic, Java, Java and Python, they all use UNO underneath, right? Yes. Even basic. There's no uh, there, there, is, there is basic, it's different in that it uh, has a more direct uh, access. But you can, you can also use ba you, the, the uh, you know things from BASIC and, and the, the, the interoperability things or the, the is, is mostly about the, 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 um, the you know parts. So the rest of this BASIC runtime is, is uh, rather not relevant to this discussion here. Stuff I can do in BASIC, I can also do in all the other languages. Yeah. <coughs> okay. okay. Then thank you.